Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Ogre Battle 64 Person of Lord of the Caliber. Today we're headed to the Aurora Plains. Last time we saw Yumil uh, get literally backstabbed by Mary, and then Danica took over Mary's body. So let's see what happens today. Get moving! We need to hurry. Y Yamil, my... Uh... She's useless like this. I have no choice. Whether she likes it or not, I must. What are you doing, Zeta? Seal made by a god cannot be broken by the denizens of the netherworld. Isn't that so? R Richard, how about a deal? You wish to contact, to receive blessings from a god, right? I will help you as much as I can, so help me break the seal of the ruins. We both seem to know each other's interests, but what makes me think that you won't betray me again? I have no choice. Since the Chaos Gate was destroyed, there was no other way to resurrect Lady Danica but to use them. I don't want to hear excuses. What we want is the blessing from the gods, the ultimate power. I'll help you, but only if you help us. I... I understand. Didn't we tell you from the very beginning? You must obey us. We've spotted a large group of demons on the road west. They must be heading to the ruins at the foot of the Mount Caroleth to the west. The ruins is... The ruins in the mountains to the west? Is Danica there? Wait! It is just like the Temple of Birth? It may be. Anyway, we must defeat those who stand in our way. Take a look at the map. Fort Randrich in the southeast will be our headquarters for this campaign. We'll march to Androut Station, two days northwest of Randrich. We must capture the station. This battle will not be easy, so keep your eyes open. Knights of the Caligneus Order! You're still here. Why do you side with the Netherworlders? What are you planning to do? The Caligneus Order is decimated thanks to you. The Brigade of the Radiant Cross ordained by the Pope is useless now. We can't possibly return to Lotus like this. We will return with the ultimate power. We will reach the highest position among the Imperial Knights. No, we'll dominate the world. Those who laughed at us, those who murdered my father during the uprising, everyone will bow down before us. What awaits you then? Nothing could be accomplished by cultivating hatred. You're wrong. The ultimate power isn't meant for humans. I'll s stop your scheme. Your ambitions end here. Get back, Baldwin. Leave them to me. Head for the ruins. But... I told Farewell, Richard. Baldwin. Currently, the Caligneus Order is using Castle Talpea as their base. To gain the ultimate power, they join with the denizens of the netherworld. Their actions can't be considered noble any longer. They're merely acting out of selfish desire. But why do they follow Lotus's orders? I have no idea. We do know that they aren't as unreasoning as we once believed, though. I guess they share common interests, then. I can't believe the Caligneus Order would go that far to gain the ultimate power. It would be nice if we could go directly to the ruins, but if we do, our back will be exposed to Castle Tapea. The assault on the castle should be our top priority. From what I've heard, a report on the ruins is stored in that castle. I wonder if that's why they chose Castle Tapea. Well, looks like next time on Ogre Battle 64 Person of the Lord of the Caliber, we'll be heading to Wetness. 
This has been David. If you like this, please comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good day.